you can't get any deeper in my body than where I'm feeling this pain. But I still wasn't convinced I was having a heart attack until they said, you're having a massive heart attack. <laughs> I've never heard of any kind of younger person having a heart attack that had no other you know, risk factors for any kind of cardiac disease or anything like that. My family had another kind of cardiac issue that I had been seeing a cardiologist for uh, called Brugada syndrome, which is a sudden death syndrome. So my cardiologist had had me do a stress test um, the week of my SCAD, and it came back fine. Um, but I was under a tremendous amount of personal stress, just life stresses in general. Um, I was going through a nasty divorce at the time and so forth. And the morning I woke up in my SCAD, I actually had pain in my chest and my jaw. And my very first thought was a heart attack. But then I told myself, you're, you know, I was 42 at the time, and um, you're not having a heart attack. You just saw the cardiologist. It's just stress. So I spent about 14 hours that day doing different stuff with my kids, shopping. I uh, went to friend's house at night. You know, this whole time just feeling horrible all day. It finally ended up getting a lot worse. Um, symptoms were traveling down my arm by the evening time. Went to the hospital. They thought maybe I had a gallbladder issue. Um, then they said, you're definitely having a heart attack. We we're planning on putting a stent in, and then I died of a cardiac arrest about an hour afterwards. And I was dead for about two and a half minutes. Um, they were able to obviously to shock me back. I went under emergency stent procedures where they put three stents in my heart. Um, they wanted to do open heart surgery, but didn't think I would survive it. So, you know, spent a week in the hospital. My cardiologist at the time didn't really know what was going on. I didn't know about you know, any of the Facebook information. I, I knew nobody that knew anything about it. So it was extremely isolating at the time. And I had great doctors. My cardiologist in Fort Wayne at that time was one of the best in Fort Wayne, you know, still is. I mean, I, I had complete faith in him. And he, he but, but he knew to say, I don't know what this is. I need to refer you on, you know, we need to figure this out. So at least they were willing to listen to me. That's huge. I didn't get the diagnosis until about seven months later when I went to Mayo Clinic uh, for actually my, this other heart condition in my family. Um, and that cardiologist at Mayo said, I think you might have had a SCAD. And because I had already died, recommended to have an um, ICD put in. And then when I did get on the Facebook page and started reading everyone's stories, um, it was just devastating every single day. You know, every day you're afraid, am I going to die today? Am I going to die today? Is this my last day? Um, and I, I really struggled with that for a long time. I sought out counseling, which helped tremendously. Um, I finally got you know, the support that I needed. And I have a wonderful family that were in friends that have stood beside me this whole time. So they were a tremendous help. Um, and now I've kind of moved past that. You know, now it's like, what, how can I get the most out of this day? How can I get the most out of this moment? I got up out of bed. I can walk, I can talk. My heart's beating fine. Um, I want to, you know, take advantage of every minute I can. As a mom, we typically have this, let's suck it up and stick through it. And I even work in the medical field, and I talked myself out of the fact that I was having any kind of major medical event. Uh, I'm a mom, and you got to do what you got to do with your kids that day, and you put yourself at the bottom of the totem pole, and that end up literally killing me <laughs> by the end of the day. Um, so I will never do that again. And I always tell any women, you know, if you have any kind of discomfort from the waist up, I don't care if it's your elbow, your tooth, your ear, whatever, you know, don't be embarrassed to go to the emergency room and have it checked out because, you know, I've met so many women that have had just bizarre symptoms and ended up having a pretty massive heart attack. I love roller coasters. And because of my ICD, you know, I really can't do roller coasters anymore. Um, I really do miss that a lot. Um, I don't shovel snow anymore, which wasn't one of my favorite things to do, but I still, I still took pride in the fact that I could get out there and shovel snow, and so I can't do that anymore, but it's mostly the roller coasters I really miss. I can't, you know, go to Cedar Point anymore and ride all the big rides with my kids, so that I do, do miss, but it's worth it. <laughs>